Hi everyone and welcome to the WSO2 Identity Server Strong Authentication with Multi-Factor Authentication Training video. In this video, we're going to learn about the usage and benefits of multi-factor authentication. Let's begin by understanding what authentication is. Authentication is the process of distinctly identifying a certain entity using a knowledge factor, an ownership factor and an inherence factor. The knowledge factor is something the user knows, such as the user password, a PIN or a security question. The ownership factor is something the user has, such as the ATM card, the identity card, the mobile phone or a security token. The inheritance factor is something the user is or does, such as biometrics. The most common form of authentication is carried out by entering the username and password. However, using just the password may not be a strong authentication mechanism. You can pick the number of authentication factors to be used. The single factor authentication mechanism utilizes a single factor to authenticate an entity. The two factor authentication, also known as 2FA, utilizes two factors to authenticate an entity. The multi-factor authentication, also known as MFA, utilizes two or more factors to authenticate an entity. So two-factor authentication is also a subset of MFA. You can increase the authentication strength by using more authentication factors. Let's explore more about multi-factor authentication. The strength of the authentication systems is largely determined by the number of factors or layers incorporated into the system. Multi-factor authentication creates a layered defense and it makes it more difficult for an unauthorized person to access a target such as a physical location, computing device, web service, network or a database. So if one factor is compromised or broken, an attacker will still have to overcome at least one more barrier before successfully breaking into the target, making it more secure. Certain organizations may require to implement more security when accessing certain types of data, thus MFA enables to address compliance requests. With MFA, you can replace passwords with other factors. This enables users to not use passwords at all, which guarantees improved usability. When using multi-factor authentication, you have to balance between convenience and security. If you add more multiple authentication factors, the security will be higher. However, the need to deal with several authentication steps could be perceived as a hassle for the user. On the other hand, if you reduce the number of authentication factors, the security could be compromised. Therefore, the enterprises should identify the correct equilibrium in order to prevent security breaches while facilitating a good user experience. We have now come to the end of this training video. Let's have a quick recap of what we learned from this training. First, we got a quick overview of authentication. Then we learn about the benefits and application of multi-factor authentication. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to get in touch with us through the following channels. Our email is im-dev at wso2.org. In Stack Overflow, tag your queries with wso2 or wso2is. And our Slack channel is wso2is.slack.com. Thanks so much for watching this video. We hope to meet you in another exciting training session.